Okay, uh, recently we've come up with a couple of new terms. Uh, one is coil, and that replaces condensed. And again, you know, the integrity of a, of a coil spring and how it, 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 changes, it changes its length, but not its shape. Okay, and another one is stun. Okay, so you're going to hit somebody by stunning them. And I'd like to, uh, I'd like to extend the, uh, the uh, description of stun. Okay, and I'm going to read this to you. Stun, for our purpose, I would like to use this term to describe the following concept. To limit or eliminate the follow through. Okay. Just as the word coil makes more sense to a human playing football than does the word condense, okay, when you, we use the word stun, we mean go so far but no further to maintain the integrity of the coil. Okay, and we just talked about that. I'm reading this. There's my phone in my hand. Okay. Okay, picture a shot putter, a golfer, a uh, baseball batter, quarterback throwing a ball. While all these actions begin with a very compact, coiled, also known as condensed, body integrity, all of these actions finish with a long extended end known as a follow-through. Now picture a Taekwondo guy or a Tai Chi fighter. They hit from a coiled body and they return to a coiled body with little or no follow-through. In other words, they stun people. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna pause this for a second. Okay, back to it. Uh, you know, okay, uh, you know, a batter follows through. A shot putter starts coil and follows through. Um, the golfer, okay, uh, you can tell I don't golf. Okay. Oh, we'll swings and follows through. Okay. A, a Tai Chi guy, and I think this is what they mean by when they talk about Fa Jin, F A J I N. They, they go so far and no further. There's no follow through. There's no extension of the body. They don't come out of the coil, the body integrity. Everything is woo. Woo, you know, Bruce Lee, six inch punch, six inch punch, punch you open, six inch punch, six. Okay. They don't extend, they don't lose that coil. Okay, so what we're talking about when we stun primarily okay, uh, eliminating or limit limiting the follow through. Okay. Once again, now picture a taekwondo or tai chi fighter. They hit from a coiled body and return to a coiled body with little or no follow through. In other words, they stun. Okay, we like to use analogy and idiom to paint a picture that has a lot of words with just one word. When we coach the term stun to a blocker, what we're trying to convey is that you're going to limit or even eliminate a follow through. Whether you hit the guy, but especially if you miss, okay? This idea, okay, this limiting of the follow-through preserves the coil, the body integrity that we're looking for, okay? Just thought I would do this. I did it on the plane last night coming home from Wisconsin. Uh, you know, I mean, take it, take it or leave it for, you know, what I'm saying here, remember, I don't have a dog in the fight, okay? I'm... Basically, I don't know. It seems like uh, seems like I'm, I'm reaching a few guys, but uh, you know, think about what I'm saying. Consider it. Uh, there's there's several guys that that are committed to this stuff, and they seem to be having sense uh, success. So, but but you know, be careful of of experts on the internet, and evidently I'm one of them. Okay, be careful. Make sure. That you're that you're following the right guy, okay. Don't drink Kool Aid just because I said the Kool Aid's delicious, okay. But I do think it's delicious.